that terrible smell. Dusk Town. I wonder what Fens found that led him back down there. Does his message give any indication of where we can find him? The settlement isn't big, but it's not exactly small either. Well, that's a start. You know, I never imagined I'd be working alongside a vampire, let alone one I respect. With all the leeches we've already had to kill, it's nice to see another sign. Fence... different. You go on ahead. I need to get my axe sharpened before I go back down into Blackreach. I'll catch up with you in Dusk Town. What is it? It's true. The Reach attacked Morthal. The Jarl soldiers put a stop to it, as I understand it. That's nothing. I heard something happened in Cardwatch. Cardwatch was destroyed.
these things. Watch your back. new arrivals they didn't stop in dusk town went straight for those dwarven ruins i thought we were trying to keep this place a secret and they sure didn't look like miners to me what do you want Turn to the Blue Palace. Fen, you in here? Hmm. Let's look around. Fen never struck me as a messy person. Could there have been a struggle here? Burnt papers. Someone was trying to hide something. Journal pages, Ben's flask, and a strange old key. All found among clear signs of a struggle. But other than what's in the flask, we didn't see any blood. That means Ben was probably taken alive. The key looks dwarven to me, and the notes mention a dwarven tower. They could be connected. The notes also indicate that Fen was going to meet with someone named Edyar east of the Dusttown Bridge. You start there, and I'll check with the locals. We have no idea who Edyar is, or who took Fen for that matter. It could be this Ashen Lord we heard mentioned, or maybe the Ice Reach Coven. But the question is, why take Fen at all? Why not just kill him? Does he have information they need? More than likely. If they want to get information out of him, death might be preferable to whatever tortures they have planned. Let's get to it. You find this Edyar, and I'll see if the locals saw what happened here.
sod off. This is my patch of ground. You don't listen too well, do you? All right. Talk fast and tell me why I shouldn't rip out your throat. The silk shirt kept notes? Of course he did. And where is Venorian? He's late, and he still hasn't compensated me for the information I gave him. I need that key! Missing? Probably taken by the same bastard that has my packmates, Exarch Zingalis. Fenorian said he could provide a key to unlock their chains, if I told him about the experiments performed on us. If you can get that key, I'll tell you more. Hercene's fetid breath, that's it! Look, I managed to escape from Singalis's tower, but my packmates are still chained up in the lightless hollow. Use that key to set them free. Then, I'll tell you how to find Fenorian. The lightless hollow lies to the east, and... Hercene's claws... Who is that tall woman? Stand down. I'm a friend. My packmates are in a work camp on the lightless hollow's west side. That's the big cavern to the east. You need that key to unlock the special chains that bind them. I'll meet you south of the work camp after you set them free. What else would you call them? My family? We're bound by a curse that makes us closer than any blood relatives. You find a pack and you stick together, or you die. Simple as that. I'm not leaving them in the hands of that insane Exarch. We're werewolves, all right? Do I have to spell it out for you? Look, Singalis captured us. Keeps us prisoner with chains of dwarven design. Only that key can set my pack free. I was lucky, but that kind of luck doesn't happen a second time. Singalis's helper made a mistake. Forgot to lock the chains when I was brought back after one of my... treatments. I can still feel the fire from when the needle pierced my skin. My blood flowing into his vials and beakers. It wasn't pleasant. Exarch Singalis. He's a vampire. Part of a group called the Grey Host. They're military, but he's some sort of insane genius. An alchemist. A scholar. And he tinkers with machines. My pack wouldn't fight for them, so they found other uses for us. Digging. Tunneling, actually. Up toward the surface. Then, every so often, Singalis would send for one of us. The mad vampire likes needles. He would either take our blood, or inject something into us. Never said why, but he enjoyed his work. Fanorian really wanted to figure out what Singalis was doing to my pack. He studied my wounds, took some fluids, and went back to get that key. He never told me where he found it. Just that he'd set my pack free if I told him everything I know. He's probably in Singalis' experimentation chamber. I clawed my way out of there. It nearly killed me. I can tell you how to get inside, but you have to free my packmates first. Do that for me. And I'll help you find Fenorian. None of the locals really wanted to talk. One or two admitted to seeing Fen, but no one witnessed any kind of disturbance at his lodgings. At least, no one saw anything they were willing to tell me about. Is this Edyar? Does he know anything? Why is everything so complicated in this part of Skyrim? All right, so tell me, what did Fen agree to do for our half-naked friend over there? Packmates? Edyar is a werewolf? <laughs> this just keeps getting better and better. So I take it you know how you want to deal with this particular situation?
save my packmates. I'll meet you south of the camp. Did those two watch your back? Natural witch storms. Nothing but reach stories, mark my words. I don't think we're the first to camp here. Lots of fresh tracks. Get some rest. The gods will watch over us. Why do you smell like Edyar? Edyar sent you. Then he made it. He's alive. That's... that's wonderful news. Exarch Singalis experimented on me. I blacked out. 
But this thought I was dead. They tossed me out of the tower. Barely managed to call to this spot. Still at the camp. To the north. Hamild, Mertilda, and Theven. Save them before Singalus <coughs> finishes them off. Just come back. All right. I don't think I can make it on my own. you won. I'm working as fast as I can, you blood-sucking bastards! Oh! 
working us like dogs. Finally. Thank you, stranger. Edya, the Grey Host could find us at any moment. Head to the surface. I need to fulfill my end of our bargain. You actually did it. You freed my pack. Now it's my turn. If Exarch Zingalis took Fenorian, and I'm pretty sure he did, you'll find them both in the ruined Dwarven Tower. It's difficult to get inside if you're not a vampire, but I know a way. Like I said, Singalis' helper made a mistake. Forgot to fasten my chains after one of my tortures. I slipped away, crawled along some pipes, and fell into a chamber with one of those dwarven lifts. There was also a door, the one behind me. It'll get you close. There's a big door that leads into Singalis' lair, but it's sealed. You need to figure out the Dwarven mechanism to open it. Then make your way to the experimentation chamber. That's probably where he's keeping Fenorian. The door's over here. Hurry, before they spot us. <laughs> <laughs> 